Hi, sixth grade. All right, so um, this week we are going to be um, actually applying what we learned last week about puppetry. And so we're going to be making our own puppets while we are in class. Um, and then we are going to be performing these next week. So for cohort A, you're going to be performing on Monday. And then cohort B, you're going to be performing on Thursday. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and put you in groups. I know, don't freak out. I'm going to hear a lot of groans in class, I think. But um, I tried to put you with people that um, I thought you would work well with or that you could kind of help each other out a little bit. Um, so what I have done is I've posed a question, and I've really worked for a long time and a lot of extra time, um, like an extra hour, um, on making sure that you each – were in like got the assignment for just your cohort so that it was a little less confusing as far as when things were due um, i know that especially cohort b was like well but i thought i had until this day but really that was a due date for cohort a and anyway so um when i do that for two periods of sixth grade basically i have to make the assignment four times instead of just once so it really um so i hope that this helps you stay a little bit more organized so Okay, so for instance, these are our groups. So what I did was I um, posed this question to you and said, what script would you like to use for your puppet show? Right, and so I told you who's in what groups and the directions were to look over the attached scripts and talk to your group members here um, about what script you'd like to use. So the scripts range in characters from five to seven characters. So each group member will be responsible for making two to three puppets. The narrator does not need a puppet, and that can just be one of your voices. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to divide up the characters and who will make which puppets. So you're going to need to talk to each other on this assignment. Okay. So you're going to need to answer the question for yourself, and then you can see each other's answers. Okay. So like, hey, I think that we should do the gingerbread man. Oh, okay, great. Awesome. Sounds good. I'll do the... Um, the fox and the gingerbread man. Okay, great. I'll do blah, blah, blah. Now, cohort A, you're going to see each other in class. So you can have those conversations in person. It's cohort B that you really are going to need to um, check this out because you can't leave this whole thing to just to Thursday and Friday. You're going to want to start looking through this. Okay. So let's go back. So pose that question to you. Okay. Um, so let's look at what um, people are doing um, at home, okay? So this is the same assignment for cohort A and cohort B, um, but it's like live for cohort B already because... So what you're going to be doing um, is you're going to watch this video, okay? So you're going to click on the YouTube video, and then you're going to write some private comments on here, okay? So when you click on the assignment, okay, don't write the the comments under class comments, you want to write it. So say if, say if I'm Vincent, okay, um, I'm going to write, why? Ah. Um, so see, this would be me typing blah, 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 okay. So I would type my three things, okay, because see, it says in the directions, private comment here on three things you learned from watching this video, okay. Number one, I learned that blah, 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 okay? It can't be, I learned that puppets are cool. They don't talk about, I mean, yeah, puppets are cool, but they don't talk about that in that video. You need to tell me something that you learned about how to perform as a puppeteer, okay? So make sure that you're taking the time for that. So that's the day one assignment. The day two assignment is very similar. Again, it's about becoming a puppeteer and, and um, kind of some tips and things. So same thing, okay, it's a different video. It's a little bit longer, 11 minutes, okay, not even a whole episode of a show. Um, and then you're going to um, private comment three things that you learned from watching that video, okay? Next, we'll talk about what we are doing in class. All right, so as far as what we're doing in class, um, what we're going to, it's going to be slightly different for cohort A and cohort B. So cohort A, once you have planned out with your group, here's what fairy tale we're going to do. 
and here's who's going to do what. You're going to um, read through the script um, that you've chosen and kind of rehearse, read through it so that you all know kind of the rhythm of things. And then you're going to start to plan how you're going to make those puppets. So we're going to make sure that cohort A, those people um, are kind of ready to go um, home. So you want to think about what kind of materials you have at home. Um, I have stuff that I'm willing to let you have. Um, I'm willing to let you borrow glue guns of mine to take home, um, but I need them back. Okay. So um, if that's something, materials that you don't have at home and you would like to borrow them um, for the asynchronous time later in the week, great, fine. Um, same thing with, so cohort B, you're going to be kind of planning and learning about puppetry in the beginning of the week, and then you're going to be, have that really solid time on Thursday and Friday to make those um, puppets in class. Not that we won't have time to work on making the puppets for cohort A, but, um, you know, it's just going to be a little bit less of that kind of centralized time for that. So anyway, um, so again, my main message, I guess, is ask if you don't have something that you need. I probably have it. Um, I have a ton of material um, down in my scene shop. Um, I have a lot of things, googly eyes and, you know, all kinds of things like that. So I'm happy to help you with things like that. Um, you just got to ask. Okay. Um, and then your puppet performances will be the following week. Okay. So again, Monday and Thursday um, will be those. And so, um, so we have this planning sheet that you're going to kind of look at in class. And what this is going to do is kind of walks you through this process that I'm asking you to kind of make sure you don't miss anything. So, um, you know, make sure that you have read through the scripts, chose what script you're going to do, what fairy tale you're going to do, what type of puppet are you going to do? So remember thinking about the types of puppets that we talked about last week. Are you going to use a sock? Are you going to do a rod puppet, a stick puppet, paper bag puppet? What are you going to do? Um, same. So what characters do you need for your script? And then basically what happens in it. Okay. Then, um, you're going to um, take some pictures, especially if you're at home or if you're 100% virtual. I want to see kind of the process that you're going through in making your puppets. So what these next couple slides are is I'm asking you to take some pictures and then paste them here. So like, here are my materials. Here's the beginning. Here is kind of midway through. Here's what I did. And then here is the end result. Okay, so um, I'm asking you to kind of tell me, you know, hey, I'm making a thing for Aladdin. Okay. And here's what I started with. Here's what it looks like in the middle. And then here's at the end. And so that proves to me that yes, I made it, that it wasn't just like some random thing that I had like around my house from some other project or whatever. All right. Um, and then this kind of reminds you to make sure that you rehearse. So you'll have a copy of your script. And so once you have your puppets made, you're going to want to practice using the tips that you learned in those videos. You're going to want to practice, um, you know, being underneath something. So like a good thing would be like your dinner, like dining room table or behind a couch or something like that. Um, and really seeing, you know, maybe taping yourself, do it. What does it look like when you are, you know, do using your puppet, right? Um, so anyway, there's, um, it's going to be a good week. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with and, uh, you know, just go for it. Be creative. You got this.